if you feel like you don't know how to find God, he can, he will, and he can find you. The more that you repent, the more that you plead the blood of Jesus Christ, the more that you read the word, the more that you align yourself with the word of God. Yes, there's studies and things outside of God that you can learn God more, but you want to start off with the basics. The basics. You want to make sure that you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he came and died for your sins. You want to believe that God had a son. A lot of other beliefs say that Jesus was just a prophet. He was just some man. There's another belief where Jesus was part of 444 men. Look at here. There are new things coming that can take your mind off of God if you don't know him. If they took the Bible away, what do you have? Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I need you to show me that you're real. I need I need to know who you are. You know, if, you, if, if there's a person out there with a higher power and you're so loving, I need you to reveal yourself to me. Keeping it real. That's why I keep it real with God. <clears throat> in my videos today, I made a lot. I was really surprised. Maybe I'm birthed out for all the, the bottle up. I've been busy with my kids this past week. Make sure that you guys read these videos. I'm talking about making sure you're serving the right God. And why people are leaving the faith. Because they're getting manifestations from demons and doctrines than in God. Because God, if you're before God and you're dirty and you're sinful... He'll stay quiet. You ever have somebody that come to you and you know they're not right and you're not about to deal with their foolishness? What do you think our thoughts come from? We are made in God's image and we have God's attributes. We may not have all of them and we feel partially broken or, or we feel in pieces and we feel broken. But the more that you put on God, you can find God <clears throat> as you begin to love. Forgive your enemy. I just paid, you know, for somebody else's groceries again last night. I had, you know, went out paid for someone else's groceries and then I went to buy some groceries of mine and left mine in the car um, and the more love you show sowing for people blessed are the peacemakers it says in the Beatitudes for they shall inherit the earth God is real ask God to make himself known unto you I fast and consecrate for many reasons I can say all day long why and then I'll make another video later on today and write down oh it's because of this 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 and that too I fast and I consecrate for a reason. I need to hear God's voice. I need to know if a witch is speaking over me at night. I need to know and feel uh, headaches and people are teaching me. I have people, mighty women of God in my church. If you're having a headache, it's witchcraft. If you're feeling like you want to have a heart attack and your heart is stopping, it's, it's, it's someone speaking a, a curse and a spell. If your face is kind of pale, looking crazy, my pastor teaches me that someone is working something against me. Someone is working something against me. And so anytime I have a cough or whatever the case may be, you know, <clears throat> I, I stay in sensing. But when I'm when I am fasted, I can uh, sense a lot of things really quick, really fast. And it never stops. It's never ending. And I remember one time God told me that I was living outside and I was married to my second husband. He said, don't go down this particular street. I was just getting a plane. The vision was so clear. You can have two kind of visions. A vision where God takes you up and he's showing you and you can just, your, your spiritual realm is so strong. What is the word? Supernatural. So if something is natural and they say super, that means magnified, magnified, magnified. That means we're in the flesh and we're basically protected from the naturalness of who we really are, which is a spirit man. So the supernatural. I remember uh, being married to my second husband and I was... Uh, Getting a sensing. Do not go down the street. You got all these uh, bumps and different things. You could have a car wreck. Don't do it. Well, I didn't listen to the voice because I was just like, Nitra, you got to stop doing this. That's why I zoned out and I needed medication because I'm just like, I'm going through too many spiritual things that I feel like I can't handle. And even I knew that it was really demonic. So when I drove down this particular street, <clears throat> I started driving down the street. It was about... Oh gosh, maybe five to six dead rodents, and they were pretty big. And every time I thought that that one was over, I was swerving, 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 and I almost swerved and hit off uh, into uh, a school. There was a school, excuse me, on the side, and um, 
I just want to thank God. I want to thank God. I told you guys about Jack in the Box. I was just like, somebody standing at the counter. Why am I seeing a vision of this or seeing a vision of that? And then look up an hour later, somebody standing at the counter. I'm like, we are closed on the inside. You got to go through the drive through you know. Um, and I'm getting dreams and unctions and visions that I know that are personally for me. Uh, certain things I don't share. But for the things that are and that are, you know, for you guys, you know, I'm just encouraging you guys to get to know God for yourself. Fasting and consecration. It's not that God is going to take you and drop you into hell, you know, or anything like that. It's, it's for the protection of you and yourself. It's for the protection of knowing God and hearing his voice and getting uh, protection. Hey, don't go here. Don't go there. There's a guy that could be in the store right now. Don't go right now. You know, there, there's a car wreck up ahead. I need you to stay home. I need you to wait. Stop. Be patient. Need you to fast. Go to the hospital. Pray for that person. Hey, something's getting ready to happen with your dad or something like that. I need you to be on call. Wait. This, 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 and that. And for God, for me... I know I'm serving a real, true, living God because God is just like, get those thoughts out of your mind. What are you doing? No, you can't have sex if you're not married. No this and no to that. Don't watch this movie. Don't do this. Don't have these kind of friends. This, 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 and that. And I, I struggle with that. Why is it a struggle? You know, it's not because I have something against anyone. I had people call me a witch. Uh, before and, and, and being seen like that because of the things that I went through as a kid. I've never, you know, seen any chance or had a Ouija board and did anything against anybody or any spells or nothing like that. Nothing like that. And I had a hard life because of it. I've been judged a lot because of the old things that God was delivering me from, taking me through things and getting me delivered and separating um me from those things. I was fasting 45 days and then God popped and took my head like this and something came off for a second. He was getting me delivered from something. And then I remember going, wow, that was a lie. And whatever it was, I felt it came back and attached to me. God was taking me through the backwoods and showing me that there's spiritual warfare, there are demons and all these type of things. And I thought it was too much. And there's a lot of times now when I get so afraid when I've seen demons and I've seen it three years ago in my apartment, he was literally trying to blend himself in with the wall. His eyes was really huge, and it scared the mess out of me. There are times where I even get scared and afraid. And, you know, God says, fear not. Perfect love casts out all fear. But I'm encouraging you guys for what I know. Don't let anyone steer and veer you off the path. I really need to go to sleep. You guys be blessed.